So the man you see on your screen at the moment is Harrison and he's heavily involved in the missing case of a fever and then ceiling. Now, it's been alleged that this is the decomposing body of one of the two girls, that is Celian and Afiba, who have been missing since April of this year. Now, take a very good look at the curtain they saw at uh, near the decomposing body. Take a very good look at it because we'll come back to it and then for me to explain why this curtain is very, very important. This is the curtain they found the decomposing body in and according to Harrison, this body was dumped just a few meters from the house of um, Andrew Amechi, the suspect who was last to see Cillian and Afiba alive. Now you see the curtain, it was found in his house. This is the same curtain that was the decomposing body was found in. This is the same curtain, you can go back and then look at it. So according to Andrew here, he's explaining that the body was found just a few meters from the house and where Andrew's house was situated is a place where there are no houses around. It's kind of like a new site. You know how these kidnappers uh, operate? They operate in new sites where people are not around. Even if you shout, even if you shout, nobody's going to hear you. That is where Andrew Amechi was keeping the girls. Yes, look at the curtains. He's comparing the two curtains to it. He's thanking Ghana um, Nigerian police at the moment because they were swiftly involved in it. Anytime he calls upon them, they are ready to answer. We have to give them kudos and kudos to Ghana police because I learned they are heavily involved in this case. They are still um, hoping and then wishing that Cillian and Afiba will come back alive because the decomposing body has still not been tested. It hasn't been confirmed whether it's one of them. No. When the body was found, according to Harrison, some parts of the body was missing. The head, the legs, the arms. For at this point in time, we don't know if some of the organs were even missing because we learned Andrew is, a, is, is an organ harvester and a psychopath. So we don't know if... What's the name? Some of the organs of these girls are even missing at this point. They, are, they have to take it to the lab, you know, test, test it, look at it, because it's, it's, it's badly decomposed. It's badly decomposed. And according to eyewitnesses or some of the people around, the villagers around, they claim that this body has been there for like a month now. And Cillian and Afiba have been missing since April of this year. So it's very likely that it's one of them. Now, he's the CEO of Black Sheep um, Group. That is Andrew Amechi, the CEO of Black Sheep Group. And that is where he operates his office. His office is found in his home. His office is found in his home. So if you see some of his pictures, you might think that, you know, it's a big corporation and stuff. Island is very successful, very wealthy. You saw the shoe lineup. It's designer shoes, Italian made. So you can see that this man is very, very wealthy. And according to information, the black sheep group, that is where he operated. So in case he tells you maybe come home um, for an interview for this, for that, you are straight going to his home. You are going to the lion's den. According to Harrison too, so many clothes, women clothing, children clothing were found in this man's home. So you can see that it's not only women whose organs he has been harvesting. It's not only women he has been targeting. He has been targeting children too. Who knows? Maybe some of these missing children we've been seeing all around. Maybe it's Harris, uh, Andrew who has been kidnapping them and then uh, August, uh, harvesting their organs we can't tell we can't even tell Cillian and afiba have still not been found we are waiting for them to you know confirm if the decomposing body they found is one of them these two girls have been missing since april of this year and it's alleged that andrew promised them one million naira to spend three days with him that is from friday to monday now the video you see is the last time Cillian and then uh, afiba were seen alive this was when they were leaving the apartment to go to the hotel that andrew lodged them at before he picked them up now it was the cctv camera that captured andrew to be the last person who saw these two girls alive so the friend who was upstairs videoing them sent a video to harrison that um Cillian, Cillian is the fair, is the fair one, the Nigerian lady, sent her a video claiming she was crying, claiming that Andrew has kidnapped them and has repeatedly 
um, been raping them. Yes, he has been have been sexual intimacy with them several times, even though they, they don't consent to, which is rape. From the video, you can see the shoe line up. You can see everything that Harrison and his team found in the house of Andrew Amechi went when they went there. I mean, nothing about this man is going to tell you that he's an organ harvester or even a psychopath. Nothing about him. I am sure Cillian, uh, Cillian thought that she has found herself a rich guy who I'm sure at one point in time they even talked about marriage. They even talked about marriage. I'm sure she, she thought she has found the perfect guy. And there's a video whereby Andrew was requesting that she brings along her friend. That is Afiba. He was like, oh, I've seen your friend. I like your friend. Bring your friend too. If the three of you can spend, uh, so if the two of you can spend three days with me, I'm going to pay you one million naira. Or more, the love of money will take ladies where they shouldn't even go. Is this a hookup gone wrong? Is this a hookup gone wrong? Because you can't tell me that they are going to just be with the man for three days without anything happening. And it's even revealed that Afiba is married. The Ghanaian lady, the dark one in it, is married. It's alleged, I don't, it's allegedly married. I don't even know what to say at this point. One million naira. Now look at, we don't even know if he is still alive or not. Andrew, three days ago, reports came in that he has been shot dead when he was being transported to Abuja. I am sure this case is way bigger than we think because organ harvesting is something, it's not a, a small case, no. Some of your politicians, your celebrities at the top are heavily involved in this thing. So if they feel Andrew was going to be a threat to them, why not eliminate him? I, and to date, the body of Andrew has not been shown to the family of the victims that, you know what, the last person who, was, who saw the girls alive, this is him. He is truly, truly dead. Nigerian police have not done that. What is the state of Abia keeping at this point? Abia states, what are you keeping from the public at this point? If the man is indeed dead, let us know. Everyone is quiet on this case and it's looking like it's only Harrison that is pushing for these girls to come back alive. He's the only person heavily involved, giving daily up, um, reports to the public. You know what? This is what is going on. This is what is happening. This and this and this. It's only Harrison that is doing the work. What are the celebrities doing? Ghana celebrities, Nigerian celebrities. What are you doing? Organ harvesting shouldn't be taken lightly. There are so many people out there like Andrew Amechi that we don't even know. People should be careful. I'm telling you, ladies have a, a certain heart that you don't even know. How can you move from Ghana to Nigeria just to meet a man? Because you can't tell me that she, didn't, she wasn't aware that her friend was going to meet a man. Then why follow her? What did her friend say to her before they even left? So you can't tell me she didn't know. I am sure this is a hookup gone wrong. Maybe she wanted the money to come and flex back home in Ghana, but this, this really went wrong. I sympathize with their family. I'm not saying, I'm not blaming them for it. I sympathize heavily with their family. This can happen to anybody. Because these two people, Cillian and Andrew, have been chatting for months. Nothing about him shows he's an organ organ harvester or even a psychopath.